Hello everybody and welcome to another video on solving simultaneous equations. Now so far we've looked at two written methods of solving simultaneous equations including the substitution method and the elimination method. However there is another way we can solve simultaneous equations and that is graphically. So here we've been given two equations and I've plotted those two equations on a graph. Now we can actually use this graph to solve this pair of simultaneous equations. And the solution to this pair of simultaneous equations is where the two lines intersect. So we can see that they intersect at this point here. So if we write down the coordinates of this point of intersection, where we go along three and up one, so our coordinates are three comma one. So the X value is three and the Y value is one. And that is our solution. So the solution to this pair of simultaneous equations is x equals 3 and y equals 1. So let me just try to explain why that is the case. So anything on this green line would satisfy this equation. So for example, if we pick this point here, so when x equals 7, y equals 5. And we can see that because if we substitute 7 for x, 7 minus 2 is indeed 5. So anything on this green line would satisfy this equation. Anything on the red line would satisfy this equation. So the only point on our graph that would satisfy both equations is the point of intersection. Notice this point here is on both the green line and the red line. So that is why this works. So whenever you are asked to solve a pair of simultaneous equations using a graph, you are always looking for the point of intersection. Now let's look at these two questions. By plotting graphs, estimate the solution to the simultaneous equations y equals 2x minus 3 and y equals 10 minus x. So we have to first of all plot the graphs of these two equations and then we'll be looking at the point of intersection. So let's start off with this equation here and we've been given a table of values to help us. So when x equals negative 1, we've got 2 times negative 1, which would be negative 2, and then subtract 3, that will be negative 5. And now I can see that because the gradient is 2, for every 1 we go along on the x-axis, we're going to go up by 2 on the y-axis. So the next one is going to be negative 3, and then negative 1, and then positive 1. Okay, so I'm going to plot these points on my graph, and then just draw a straight line that goes through all of those points. Okay, so I've done that here. Now let's go on to the next one. So I'm going to plot this equation in orange. So again, let's substitute one of our values in first. So 10 subtract negative 1, well that's the same as 10 plus 1, which is 11. Now the gradient is negative 1, so for every 1 I go along on my x-axis, I'm going to go down 1 on my y-axis. So we're going to have 10, 9, and 8. So now I'm going to plot these points and connect them with a line. So now I've plotted both of my equations, I can identify the point of intersection, which looks like it is here. So what are the coordinates of this point? Uh, well, the x value is going to be approximately, remember we are only estimating, so I'm going to write approximately, that's between 4 and 5, it's slightly closer to 4, so I'm going to say 4.3. And my y value, well that is going to be approximately, so this is 5 and this is 6, so I was, I'm going to say 5.7 because it's slightly closer to 6, so 5.7, so these are my two answers. I will check at the end, but let's go straight on to question three. I think I'm going to use a, a fuchsia colour for the next one. So this time we have to do exactly the same, but our two equations are y equals 4x minus 5 and y equals 5, uh, sorry, 5 minus 2x. So let's plot this equation first. So when x equals 0, 4 times 0 is 0, and then subtract 5, we get negative 5. And now because our gradient is 4, for every one we go up on the x-axis, we're going to go up by 4 on the y-axis. So it's going to take us to negative 1, and then 3, and then 7. So let's plot this graph now. And now let's finally look at this equation. And for this one, I think I'm going to use a sort of paddling pooly type of blue colour, I think. So when x equals negative 1, we've got 5. And then here we've got negative 2 times negative 1. Well, that will be positive 2. So it'll be 5 plus 2, which is 7. Now our gradient is negative 2, so we're going to go down by 2 each time. So it's going to be 5, 3, and then 1. 
So now let's find our point of intersection, which is approximately there. And remember, this is our solution. So what is our x value? Well, x is going to be approximately, it looks like it's just over one and a half. So 1.7 I'm going to go for, 1.7. And our y value is going to be approximately, so this is one and this is two. So I'm going to say, I'm also going to say 1.7. I think they're about the same. So 1.7. Okay, now let's check out the answers. So here are the exact solutions for these pairs of simultaneous equations. And to be honest, I think I'm quite happy with my answers. So I'm actually uh, less than 0 0.1 off. Now, when it comes to exams, you do get given a bit of margin for error. So for this particular question, you'd probably be given about 0 0.2 either side of the correct answer. Right, there's one more question that I'm going to go through. And uh, this time we're going to solve these simultaneous equations graphically. Notice one of them is a quadratic. OK, now that the principle method is exactly the same as before. We're going to plot both equations and then we're going to look for the point or points of intersection. So let's start with the uh, quadratic equation. Let's do that in blue. So when x equals negative four, so we're going to have negative 4 squared. Well, negative 4 squared is positive 16. So it's going to be 9 minus 16, which is negative 7. And now when x equals negative 3, it's going to be negative 3 squared, which is positive 9. And 9 minus 9 is 0. When x equals negative 2, negative 2 squared is 4. And 9 minus 4 is 5. When x equals negative 1, negative 1 squared is positive 1. 9 minus 1 is 8. When x equals 0, well, it's just going to be 9 minus 0, which is 9. When x equals 1, well, it's going to be 9 minus 1, which is 8. When x equals 2, 9 minus 4 is 5. And you can see that there is a reflection here. So the next one is going to be 0, and the next one is going to be negative 7. And now let's move on to the linear equation. And for this one, I've chosen a maroony sort of color, or um, it looks a bit like the color of blood if you're a bit dark. So when x equals negative four, well, we're going to have negative four times two. That's negative eight. And now to get to six, what are we going to add? Well, we add 14. So we're going to add on 14. OK, when x equals negative three, well, this becomes negative six and, and therefore we need to add on 12 in order to get to um, in order to get to six. And now because this is a linear equation, it goes up by the same goes up or down by the same amount. So I can just fill in the rest of them. It will go 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0 and negative 2. So now I'm going to plot both of our equations on the graph. So here is my best attempt at plotting these equations on the graph and you can see that my quadratic one isn't perfect but the most important things are the points of intersection and you can see that we have two points of intersection so this point here and this point down here so these are our two solutions so what are the coordinates well the coordinates are negative one and seven no eight i should say negative one and eight and over here they are three and zero. So our solutions to this pair of simultaneous equations are x equals negative one and y equals eight, or this one over here. So x is equal to three and y is equal to zero. So that is how we solve simultaneous equations graphically. All we're looking for are the point or points, depending on whether we've got a quadratic or not, of intersection. And obviously, sometimes you will need to graph the equations yourself first. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Take care.